Quantum tunneling makes you go through barriers. Quantum physics is a science that is supposed to be intrinsic to the human experience. Why? Because it defines clearly what the rules for life are. According to quantum mechanics, quantum tunneling says particles will borrow energy from the future to go through walls of resistance. And it literally allows particles generate enough energy to teleport from one side of a wall to the other side. Why is it able to do this? Because the particle exists through all time and space. This means it borrows energy from its future self to meet and integrate with itself. It is because its energy is already in the future. Quantum tunneling lets you borrow the energy from your highest vision of self. How? Write down clearly the vision and think about having it as much as you can. Watch then how life shifts naturally to mirror your vision. No faith or belief is required, for it is law. And consider what I'm about to read to you here. It's found in page 279 of Life is a Game, the Quantum Code for Life's Principles for Success. I call this Law of Frequency number two and number three. It has to do, again, with quantum tunneling and quantum superposition. Quantum tunneling is mind-blowing and its implications mind-melting. Comprehending and exploring how this law can help you know why your bigger dreams are factually a reality will help you saturate your mind with high vibrational code of awareness. This means once you become aware that your highest vision of self already exists, this single awareness will in fact bring it into reality. Quantum tunneling tells us that when particles of energy are shot at a wall of resistance, particles will both bounce back and travel through the wall. They will literally appear on the other side of the wall. This was the observation and conclusion. Particles are able to teleport through the wall because they are already on the other side of the wall, even before it was shot against the barrier. And I know this may sound insane, and it does, but the observation is accurate. This is true because particles' true state of existence is in the form of wave of energy. Essentially, a frequency of vibration spread thin through space and time. Recall that Nikola Tesla said that our influence extends into infinite distance. How come? Because you and I, of course, have an atomic structure and atoms vibrate at a quantum level. Factually sending its coded frequency simultaneously at the same time through all space and time. Quantum superposition suggests that all realities and potentials exist now simultaneously. That all realities that exist and have ever existed and all realities that will ever exist do exist because their potentials are programmed within the mainframe of the universe. What brings the potentials a reality? Our thoughts about the world when transmitted long enough will bring in these realities to the matrix of particles defined by time and space, our observable universe. It is not necessary to have full comprehension to benefit from these laws any more than it is necessary to understand the mathematical equations that complement the law of gravity to know that it exists and affects your life. 
It will be to your advantage to add more faith as you progressively work to make your dreams come true. That you also ask the universe for more comprehension on the quantum laws for practical application. And this understanding will give you the foundation for the next secret principle. And that is this. Use quantum tunneling to make your biggest dream come true. Recall that all atomic structure of the known universe, as far as the data has shown, says that atoms exist in a paradoxical existence. This is known as particle wave duality. It says that atoms are particles of energy defined in space and time, but that at the same time they exist as waves of energy not defined by time and space, and are spread thin through all space and time. The key here, the secret, is that even though particles may not be thrown with enough force, the particles will go through a wall of resistance anyway. This brings us to two basic understandings of how we can create our biggest dreams and how they can come true anyway, regardless of desire, strong will, or persistence. What do I mean? In life, you will always hear that you must give up everything you have to get that which you desire. I know I built on that heavily through my first volume and this book you are listening to now. And through the entrepreneurial world, you will hear this all the time. That you must do whatever it takes. That you must work 16 hours a day and sacrifice all sanity to become or get that which you desire. This understanding, yes, must be kept in mind when you make a decision to go after that which you desire. Especially if you perceive yourself as ultra low frequency. This is because what you desire, you desire because you are far removed from it. Thus the desire chain of experience. Ultra high vibration individuals seem to easily go through the wall of resistance. In fact, teleport themselves to that place where they have it all, essentially even before they think about it. Quantum tunneling tells us of three potentials. One, we can move from ultra-low vibration to ultra-high vibration. Two, you already exist as having your biggest dream, regardless of perceived dream size. Three, walls of resistance do not exist, even for ultra-low frequency individuals. How and why does quantum tunneling say we can do these things? Because if all particles exist everywhere simultaneously, then by that definition you already exist as having that which you desire. Whether you are ultra low frequency or ultra high frequency. The nature of coded particles says you already have what you want regardless of wall of resistance. If you perceive yourself as ultra low, then you may perceive not a wall but a mountain of resistance. This is why you may perceive yourself as being always being bounced back or pushed back by life when you attempt to go after a goal or dream. But don't we already know what Jesus said about mountains? Quote, Truly I say to you, if you have faith the size of a mustard grain, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there, and it will move. End quote. Of course, this may not be the case with ultra-high frequency individuals since their walls of resistance seem to just fall off. Thus, we perceive them as always having everything a person would desire and even more. But they experience a different kind of torment. For as we saw, their success is so common that their experience of it is meaningless, since they know nothing else. 
If by chance you are listening to this and you identify with Marie's predicament and you find yourself experiencing apathy due to the fact that your emotional volatility is non-existent and therefore you might be addicted to superficial fixes that give you short-term fluctuations of emotion, then if you're looking for a solution, here's what you may do. Quote, when you spread a dinner or evening meal, do not call your friends or your brothers or your relatives or rich neighbors. Perhaps sometime they might also invite you in return and it will become a repayment to you. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the cripple, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you. End quote. Taken from Luke chapter 14, verse 13 and 14. Quote, Take good care not to practice your righteousness in front of men in order to be observed by them. Otherwise, you will have no reward with your Father who is in the heavens. Hence, when you go making gifts of mercy, do not blow a trumpet ahead of you, just as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may be glorified by men. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your gifts of mercy may be in secret. Then your father who is looking on in secret will repay you. End quote. Taken from Matthew chapter 6 verses 1 through 4. For as you give your abundance to those who don't have it, then you will experience the same feeling you helped others feel by feeding them what they are sorely lacking. This is why you are encouraged, whether ultra low frequency, but especially if you are ultra high frequency, that you put into practice the suggested principles of giving. What you do for others, you do for yourself. What you fail to do for others, you fail to do for yourself. By giving people what they most desire, you will be given what you most desire. By giving people what they didn't even know they didn't have, you will also be given what you didn't even know you didn't have. Invariably, you will be given what you don't know you even had, and therefore you will experience having what you already had. Also consider especially if you are ultra high frequency that God has desires it can have experientially through you meaning you can also ask God to have it give you God's next highest vision of self through you this is acknowledging that you don't know what you don't know but life does know what you don't even know and thereby expand upon your perspective and unique position. In this way, we are all the same. We can all tunnel via the quantum field through the biggest mountain to obtain what we cannot even imagine. Quote, If the world is a maze and this is the map, it is the most important discovery of all time. It levels the playing field. And to war, justice for all. Nobody lucky or unlucky, end quote. This is Marie's dad, Mr. Fortune, from the movie Frequencies. This acknowledgement will stop the richest perception that the poor are but viruses and useless eaters, but will see them as an opportunity of personal experience where, as they choose to support others, ultra-high frequency groups will be given new visions where their emotions of joy will be expanded. This perception will also help low-frequency concentrations to stop seeing themselves as, quote-unquote, the oppressed and the victims, targets for exploitation by the rich and prosperous. Also, this new awareness helps both parties, for they are separated by the proverbial social chasm of energy. We must acknowledge both consciousness have empty data banks of experience, and they don't know what they don't know. That by asking for help and accessing God's highest visions, both will bridge the gap and see 
that what has been perceived as an unfortunate never-ending cycle of social negativity is in fact an opportunity to experience the best life has to offer. Thoughts are things like everything else in the universe. This means your thoughts are also energy. So when you picture an end result in your mind's eye, what you may perceive and feel most of the time is the wall of resistance. This feeling may force you to think, quote, well, that is impossible. That can never happen. The wall of resistance will give you literal words of doubt and disbelief. The wall at a quantum level will vibrate to you to make you forget about that goal or dream and convince you the wall is too big. But remember, this is only the law of magnetic rhythm forcing you to stay within your usual mental parameters. It is lying to you. How do you know it is lying? Because, as suggested by quantum tunneling, you already exist as a collective potential living that dream regardless of wall of resistance. To illustrate, if you want a bigger home, more business or money, then you realize its experience is on the other side of the wall. According to quantum tunneling, since particles vibrate through and are spread thin through all space and time, then you are literally seeing with your mind's eye a real future event that already happened. This is because your energy is already on the other side of the wall. So, as long as you use your imagination, use all these principles and persist and keep shooting those particles of energy against the wall of resistance, you will go through that wall. The wall is an imaginary perception, for it is something made up in our mind. It does not exist. This is because these laws are suggesting that you already own, that you already have, and you essentially already exist as experiencing and having that which you imagine. This is why the New Thought Movement has emphasized to you to be careful on what you are dwelling and to be aware within your imaginative thoughts. So really consider this and ponder over it. This is a hyper-practical understanding. You no longer have to wonder whether your dream will come true or not. This is because the laws of physics are already telling you that at a quantum level, you are already there. You already exist as having that which you have imagined, that the wall of resistance that you feel is penetrable. Yes, you can easily go through it. Is this not why Nikola Tesla was able to recognize the plausibility for biological immortality for humanity? Is this not why he said that humanity was aching for it? Did he not see the inoxorable agents that prevent a mass from changing suddenly as an imaginary wall of resistance? Will not this wall resist the force of new thought until time gradually modifies human thought? So as you begin to ponder on the possibilities of the goal or dream in the future, you may begin to feel bad. You may begin to perceive all these walls of resistance. I don't have the money. I don't have the know-how. I don't have the job. I don't have the expertise. I don't have the education. Then you begin to perceive what Tesla referred to as noxious agents that prevent a mass from changing suddenly. That it takes new thought consistently introduced into the new perception. So as long as you persist, and as long as you ponder on your biggest dream, as long as you imagine yourself as having it, you are literally blasting out frequencies into the universe and you are programming your entire atomic structure to be teleported into that reality. You must develop mental positive habits of thinking and imagining positive outcomes for your own life. For that is where all success begins. Okay, this is the end of this riff. I highly suggest, if you have not already done so, to support this channel by buying this book that is being read to you. Life is a game, the quantum code for life's 
Principles for Success, and my previous volume, Blueprint for Immortality, The Quantum Code for Life's Secrets to Success. Also, go ahead and put a like on this video if you feel it is valuable. Also, share this with loved ones, friends, and this will help raise awareness of this kind of life-changing knowledge. So consider that because what you do for others, you do for yourself. What you fail to do for others, you also fail to do for yourself. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And also go ahead and put a comment below if you feel you have any questions, comments, or observations. I certainly love to read that from you. Let me know what did you like best and what you got out of it of what you heard today. And don't forget, life is a game and this is the quantum code for life's principles for success.